As the end of 2017 approaches, there has been quite a bit of exciting smartphone announcements. Some under the radar smartphones have been released, and others have been so hyped up that it's almost impossible not to have heard of them. Let's take a look at the top 5 smartphones that have been announced for 2017. At number 5, the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. This phone was announced, everyone wanted to get their hands on it. After seeing how great the Galaxy Note 7 was, and after it just being ripped away from us because of battery issues, everyone wondered if the same thing would happen with this Galaxy smartphone. Luckily, this phone has had no issues, and when it was released was actually a pretty amazing phone. The design of this phone is beautiful. It has one of the best screens on any smartphone, and I was just amazed when I saw that Infinity display. But this phone also has its drawbacks. The new Samsung voice assistant Bixby wasn't available when this phone was released and hasn't really lived up to the hype after being released. Samsung decided to get rid of the home button on the front of the phone, which moved the fingerprint sensor to the back in a very awkward position. And don't even get me started on the annoying Bixby button, which I found myself hitting on accident at least 10 times a day. All in all, the uh, pros outweigh the cons on this phone, and it's still a great option today. Number 4, the LG V30. This phone may be the most underrated phone of the year. It has a great dual camera sensor, great screen, close to edge to edge display, beautiful design, and much more. This phone is pretty much good in every area with very little flaws. Bill stays under the radar for most consumers. Another great feature this phone has is probably what keeps it under the radar. This phone is good at almost everything you need a smartphone to be good at. It's got a great screen, but it's not the best you can buy. It's got a great camera, but also not the best available. It's just really good in every area, but just not exceptional in any one of them. If LG is able to distinguish themselves with some standout features in the future, their phones might be a force to be reckoned with. At number 3, the Google Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. I had much higher hopes for this phone. Don't get me wrong, it's an amazing phone. Nothing beats the software experience that the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL is able to offer with the vanilla Android. It runs buttery smooth, Google Assistant works perfectly with the Pixel software, and you're able to get timely updates in the future. The camera on this phone is one of the best, if not the best available on any smartphone. But there are some major drawbacks, and it starts with all the issues the Pixel 2 XL screen is having. The questions about OLED burn-in two weeks into owning the screen, the blue tint that many users are experiencing when viewing the phone from different angles. I know there's been a software update that's corrected this issue slightly, but these are all issues that occurred right after release. I'm not sure how serious this OLED burn-in issue really is since all OLED screens have some sort of image burn-in after a while. But you can't deny that these issues are just not something you want to see from a flagship Google device. Google did finally provide some water resistance to the phone, but it's rated at IP67 instead of IP68. And I know that's nitpicking, but come on Google. And no wireless charging? Are you kidding me? Even the iPhone has wireless charging. All in all, this is a very solid smartphone that provides some standout features other smartphones cannot. At number 2, the iPhone X, or 10, or whatever you want to call it. This phone has some amazing features. It has an almost bezel-less display, it has the brand new face unlock, and it has an emoji. Okay, an emoji is probably not the reason you want to buy this phone, but Apple can really market anything, including a feature that turns your face into a cartoon monkey, and it makes it seem state-of-the-art. This phone, of course, just like any iPhone, has a buttery smooth software experience, very powerful A9 chip, and an amazing camera system. There are some drawbacks, including no fingerprint sensor, and just like the Pixel 2, no headphone jack, and no expandable memory. iOS, even with the recent update to iOS 11, is still very boring and stale, but Apple finally gave its fans what they wanted. A new look to their phone, which looks beautiful by the way, with a beautiful screen and added some old but new to Apple features like wireless charging. 
This is definitely a great smartphone that will be on high demand. At number 1, Galaxy Note 8. I know a lot of people disagree with my number 1 choice here, but this phone just has the most features you could want. It pretty much gives you all the features you get with the S8 and an S8 Plus, but adds some other great ones as well. First, the S Pen. Sure, you may not even use the S Pen on a regular basis, but it's great to have it when you really need it. If you want to jot down some notes, it's there. If you want to do some precise photo editing, it's there. It may not be something you use every day, but it's nice to have it when you really need it. This phone has an amazing full sensor setup which takes great low light pictures. The screen is obviously great and the phone runs very smooth. The fingerprint sensor is once again in a horrible place, but at least it has one. I'm talking to you iPhone 10. It has an annoying Bixby button that I wish you could remap to something useful like launching the camera. The battery life is okay to say the least, but this phone is another solid Samsung phone that deserves a praise. Samsung really listened to its customers this year and the result was a solid smartphone that does everything you need and a lot that you might not need. So what did you think of our list? Comment down below and let me know which top 5 phones you would choose. If you liked our video give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to see more tech videos like these.